Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to go over our spelling words for the day. Let's go ahead and make sure on page 31, make sure you're paying attention, following directions, following uh, using your hands, participate well using your hands and fingers uh, to mark off syllables and sounds. Make sure you're trying to with me so you learn how to spell English words. And make sure you're writing in your best handwriting and including all the appropriate spaces, rules, and markings. Now, the first word is the word incessant, right? So incessant you is used for something that's not pleasing. And it often refers to something that uh, continues uh, without interruption, right? So we might imagine living next to someone um, who constantly plays loud music and it's annoying and it never stops. You might say um, that music is incessant. Right? It never stops. It won't quit. Okay? All right. So, incessant. Base word, incessant. In, ses, sant. I, n, s, e, s, s, e, n, t. Incessant. Now, this s is a C, followed by an E. Okay? So, that's why I get to say that s down. And then we have double S's right there. Okay? Incessant. In, Ses sant. I n s rule two. E s rule twenty nine. S e n t incessant. So rule two. C may say s followed by an e i y e here. Rule two. Rule 29, I need this S so it doesn't say incessant, right? So that S is letting it say E, eh. rule 29, right? And it's in the base word. So that's why I marked it here, but not here. Now, the next one is the name of a country. It is the word Israel. Now, when we say Israel, right? When I kind of say it like that, Israel, but it's Israel, Israel, okay? Israel. Is re l i z r a e o l. So we pronounce a little bit sloppy, but Israel, okay? Israel is, oops, and it's a proper noun, so it should be capitalized. Is re l i z two r a once, rule four. Eh, ol, Israel. Oh, I forgot a rule. I'm going to put it first because it should go first. Rule 26 and then 4. Rule 26, it's proper noun, so i got to capitalize it. Here, the S is saying a Z sounds, um, so two above it. And then rule 4, and they say A, then the syllable. Now, someone who is from Israel is an Israeli. Okay, Israeli, base word Israel. Ending I. I write Israel, add I to make the word Israeli. Is re li. I z r a e o i. So we don't say Israeli, right? So that E comes over here to the A. And it's not going to make a sound, so we're going to double underline it, all right? It's just sort of a no jobby in the middle of a word, okay? And then, ol, e, Israeli. Is, re, le. All right, now here, normally English words don't end in an I, but because this is a non-English word, it doesn't follow our rule, all right? Is, to r a and here we're going to to underline it right and then double underline the e Oop, i forgot rule 26 again all yeah right so here we underline it to show that it's saying the a like it did here even though there's no reason for it to say a it's not that the e is letting it say a it's just saying A, okay, because it said it in the base word. But here we double underline the E because it's not making any sound. Then all I, this is not an English word, so it doesn't have to follow English rules. You just have to memorize that. 
The next word is league, like the basketball league. League, base word league. All, e, g, right? Or g, e. Now here we're going to use e, a, a. Now here I'm using the gu phonogram, but English words can't end in a gu, so I have to throw an e on the end. Okay? League. All, e, g, e. All, e, once, g, once, but then we're going to underline the e another time and the e twice. Job two. So the reason I'm underlining the u, the u twice is I'm underlining it part once for the gu phonogram, and I'm underlining it again because that's how we mark the silent final e job two. This e is making sure that u is not at the end of a word. Next word is mathematics, right? So the word we get math from, right? Mathematics, math. E mat x m a t e m a t i x mathematics math e mat x mathematics m a t once, E, once, rule four, M, A, T, I, K, T, mathematics. The next word is mathematical. Mathematical, base word, um, we can think of base word being mathematic, ending L, but we'll just do base word mathematical, okay? So, uh, or we, let's do it, mathematic. Okay, base word mathematic, ending L. All right, mathematic, add L to make the word mathematical. Math, E, mat, I, cal. M, a, t, E, M, a, t, I, k, a, o. Mathematic, mathematical. Math, E, ma, t, nope, mat, oops. Mat I cal. M at once. E once. Roll four. M at I k a o. Mathematical. The next word is militia. Now we don't use this word a whole lot, but back when the country was founding, when the United States was founding, right? You wanted every colony had a militia, right? It was a an organized um, group of soldiers, um, but they weren't part of the official soldiers of the whole country, right? They weren't they weren't British soldiers. They were soldiers of the of the colony and eventually the state. Militia, base word, militia. Me, le, sha, m, e. Ul, I, sh, a, militia. Here I'm using a T-I to make that sh sound, right? Militia. Me, le, sha. M, I, ul, I, sh, once, rule 14, a, Three militia, right? Now a militia has to do with the military. Right? So the next word is military. We're going to treat military just as its own base word. Military base word. Military. Mil i tar i m i l i t a r i military mil I, tar, I, m, I, o, I, t, a, one, r, I, rule six. Military. Raise those. All right. The next word is mischief. 
okay? So someone who gets in trouble, they commit mischief, right? So don't be, don't commit, uh, don't go and be a mischief person. Uh, that's what we're using an adjective, but mischief, right? So the act of getting into things that you shouldn't. Mischief, base word, mischief. Miss, chef, m, i, s, sh, i, f, mischief. Okay, right? And here, this is a i, e, right? So, um, oops, I did that wrong. Miss, chef, m, i, s, sh, i, f, mischief. Okay, so here's my ch, and then here's my i, and this is the i, e phonogram, right? Right, mischief. Miss Chef mm, e, s, ch, once e, once three f, and I forgot rule twelve. Rule twelve is I use an I E except after C when it says A or some exception. It's not in those, so I'm gonna use I E here. Alright. Now the next word is mischievous. Now, some people say this mischievous, right? And they throw some extra sounds there, but it's just mischievous. Mischievous, okay? So it comes from the word mischief. It means, the uh, O-U-S means full of. So it's full of mischief, okay? Mischievous. Mischievous. M -i -s -ch -i V a s mischievous miss che vas now I didn't say this when we were going over it where we get this v from right so when you have an English word and it ends in an f Oftentimes, when we add an ending, we're going to add, change it to a V, right? Um, so you think of like the word wolf. When we pluralize, it becomes wolves, right? Half becomes halves. So that same sort of thing takes place here, that it becomes mischievous. Okay, that f sound becomes a v. So it goes from f to v, right? So that's why we have that change there. Right, markings. M I S C H. Once I once three rule twelve. V A once four S mischievous. It's those. I believe that's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.